You know how I had that series where I analyzed everything that happened in football over a week? Well, since the end of the NFL season, my channel has been an absolute ghost town. So I decided instead of going over everything that happened in football over the past week, I'm just going to go over everything that happened. Also, Josh Dobbs is hibernating, so he will not be featured. Starting off with the biggest cancer of last week. <laughs> The TikTok Riz Party. For you absolutely blessed viewers who don't know what that is, let me give you some context. So there's this TikTok account, Island Entertainment. There's some venue company. They just post people having good times like quinceañeras and bar mitzvahs. But a couple days ago, they posted this video. It's just a bunch of white boys crowded around a camera singing Carnival by Kanye. You know, the song that's like... At the same time of this video circulating, there was a flyer that went around that said TikTok Riz Party. So yeah, that's the video. A little bit embarrassing, but who cares, whatever. And the internet took one millimeter of entertainment and ran a whole ass marathon with it. The sheer fact that this is a thing just shows how chronically online people are. People have started making hierarchies for the entire friend group. Analyzing the members of the TikTok Riz Party. Coming in at number one, we got the tomato face. You can tell he's the punching bag of the friend group. You can see he's also looking at the group leader to follow what he's doing so he doesn't get yelled at. STOP! Somebody sat down and typed into an AI bot analyzing members of the TikTok Riz Party. This is genuinely the stupidest shit I've seen on the internet. Number two, white shirt. He is definitely the strongest friend in the group, and everyone respects him, although he's not the group leader. Him and the blue tie kid were most definitely friends since kindergarten. You need to be writing this down, by the way, guys. This is vital information. I don't know how to keep reiterating how stupid this is, but why are people making this? Because I have to edit this and watch the TikTok Riz Party hundreds of times. It is kind of funny, I'm gonna be honest. I'm glad the internet has gone full circle back to bullying children. Four, the group leader. He's the one in charge. He built the friend group brick by brick. When he dances, the group dances. He's the one everyone in the friend group bows down to. This video has 110,000 likes. 13,000 saved. 13,000 people were like, oh yeah, I need to keep this in case I need to see it later. It's not like there's tests over this. Like, what's going on? Oh wait, never mind. I guess there is for some. And because a lot of people have way too much time online and a CapCut premium subscription, of course they made edits. <laughs> might be wondering who this kid is. This is Turkish Quandale Dingle. He's the one guy who wasn't in the video before. Quandale Dingle was already the biggest cancer in internet history, and this annoying kid brought it back, and he's not even Turkish. This dude is the most American man on the planet, and now there is lore for these guys. Every example that Turkish Quandale Dingle wants blue ties validation in the TikTok Riz party. You know what? I'm done talking about this. I give up. I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. In actual news, a bridge in Baltimore collapsed after a cargo ship hit it. I would joke about it, but six people died, so I'm gonna stay away from that. In sports news, Stefan Diggs got traded to the Texans. This seems great for the Texans, but realistically, they'll have one deep playoff run, then Stefan Diggs will get mad and probably ask for a trade because he's not getting the ball enough. It wasn't a coincidence that the Bills only started cooking after Stefan Diggs stopped getting the ball as much. Kanye West was accused of harassing an employee, which I think happens about every week. Look, I gave Ye a grace period, but he had dropped the album, but after canceling Vultures 2, it's all gone, buddy. There was also a bunch of bad stuff going on at his school, Donda Academy. The funniest part was that allegedly Kanye did a Mario dance after threatening one of his employees. He said with this Mario AI, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Genuine question, for cases like this, how do they find balanced juries? Do they do like a 50-50 where it's half but he made graduation people and half Swifties? Like, the day that I'm recording this, the solar eclipse happened. This was inescapable in the news and for absolutely no reason. Now, with that being said, I do live in Colorado, so it was pretty lame for us. But the only thing that happened was I got really cold. It got a little bit darker. My shadows were really clear. The only funny part about it was I let people borrow my eclipse glasses and then I took it off them. Then their eyes just peered straight into the eclipse and they all got migraines. A lot of news in rap recently. P. Diddy, who I guess isn't really a rapper, had a bunch of allegations against him. There are some allegations about sexual assault assault, abuse, and rape. 
rape. His lawyers are saying that all of the accusations are all baseless and money grabs, which is pretty rude. Almost definitely not true, but you know, I'm not a lawyer. But also with that being said, it's not like P. Diddy's gonna come soon. But the most important thing that's been going on in rap is the beef between J. Cole, Kendrick, and Drake. For some context, Drake and J. Cole had a song on For All The Dogs called First Person Shooter Mode. In this, Cole started firing some disses towards Kendrick. And then on Metro Boomin's new album, he says a pretty crazy line. He basically goes, F the big three, it's just big me. In response, Drake said he'd make a diss track, but J. Cole made a whole ass album. It was a surprise album and there was a diss track about Kendrick in there. The diss track was pretty boring to be honest. He basically just ranted on about how Kendrick has fallen off and J. Cole's in his prime. Low-key crazy to call Kendrick's music boring when that's kind of all J. Cole does. But the memes about the beef are pretty amazing. Drake's the name, rapping's my game. Yeah, K. Dot, more like K. Not. Yeah, I see England, I see France, I see Kendrick's underpants. Kendrick Lamar, more like Kendrick Lamar. That is truly art, man. I feel bad for Drake, man. That man can't handle getting into another rapper beef after Pusha T's diss track. This week, there's a pretty big milestone for sports in general. Seer, the Women's March Madness tournament, got more viewers than the Men's March Madness tournament. Caitlin Clark was going absolutely off, but to be honest, I didn't watch the games. I know absolutely nothing about college basketball. This is a giant milestone for women's sports and the world as a whole, but it is an absolute disaster for 14-year-old boys in Instagram Reels comments. This is literally the incel 9-11. Why are we pushing the narrative that Caitlin Clark is even close to as good as Steph Curry? She's not. Stop. This shit's so cringe. Yeah, cause she just throwing it up from 15 feet away. Try it when you have a 6'3 plus people guarding you. A little bit of friendly fire here, but y'all really gotta guess some bit. But the most important news is the absolutely generational glazing of LeBron James. All right, think about the most heinous dick riding you've ever witnessed. You are my sunshine. This is a children's lullaby about somebody who doesn't even know you, man. But the best part about it is all the remixes, man. But the most important part is the copy pasta. This is left in every LeBron Instagram video known to man. I think the only way I can do it justice is to read it out. Boy oh boy, where do I even begin? LeBron, my honey, my pookie bear. I have loved you ever since I first laid eyes on you. The way you drive into the paint and strike fear in your enemy's eyes. Your silky smooth touch around I remember when you first left Cleveland and it's like my heart got broken into a million pieces but a tear still fell from my right eye when I watched you win your first ring in Miami because deep down my glorious king deserved it and now you're getting older but still the goat my goat I love you Pookie all right that's about it watch the launch of the you know US Space Shuttle Challenger and I turned to my boy and said I've got a terrible feeling about this it's too cold the two rubber o-rings that seal the joint between the lower segments of the, ro the rocket booster could fail at these temperatures.